Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today, I want to take you through the Newton Raphson method for solving nonlinear equations. Newton Raphson method for solving nonlinear equations. Sometimes you can just say Newton's method. Yes, Newton's method. Now, the Newton Raphson method is one of the numerical methods that are used to solve nonlinear equations. So I want to take you through that. Now, to understand this, viewers, let's look at the question. In the course of solving the question, all the concepts you need to know to really understand this will be given to you. So let's look at a question like this. Question. You can say, use the Newton Raphson method to estimate to estimate correct to correct to three decimal places let me just write in my three decimal places the root of this nonlinear equation using x not equal to 1.5. Okay, viewers, let me explain the question. I've been asked to use the Newton Raphson method, or as you can simply say, Newton's method, to estimate. Yes, we are going to estimate the root of this. What this means is that the answer you are going to get will not be an exact solution. Yes, but the answer will be very close to it will be close to the actual solution, the exact solution. Yes, that is the essence of using numerical methods to solve some distance. You can't get an exact solution, but the answer will be very close to the solution, to be an approximate value of the, the, the solution. That's why they are saying estimates. Okay, now. And you have been given this S not to be equal to 1.5. You are going to start with this. Now, how do you get this? You look at the question and try to guess to guess a solution. Just guess that oh, the solution will be somewhere around this. Are you seeing it? Yes. So when this is not, not it's not given to you, you can just guess. Just look at the question and say that ah, if I solve this, I'm likely to get this. So you just guess and then. Uh, start the equation. Now look on the board, viewers. To do the solution, to do this, we are going to use this formula, the Newton Raphson uh, formula or the Newton's formula. And it is this. Let me just write it here and then explain one or two things before. Is this Xn plus 1 is equal to Xn minus f of Xn all over f prime of x now. Yes. Now, look on the board. You see that I've been giving s naught to be this. It means that when n is equal to 0, we are going to have s naught here. So when n is equal to 0, we are going to have x1 is equal to s naught minus f of s naught all over f prime of what? s naught. When n is equal to 0. When n is equal to 1, we are going to get s2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1. Yes, it's, a, it's an iterative process. So we are going to use s0 to get x1, use x1 to get s2, use s2 to get s3 until a stopping criterion is met. And then look on the board, you see that I said that correct answer to three decimal places. Yes, that will help us to stop. So each of these uh, 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 words is very, very important. Each of these words is very, very important. OK, so now let's look at it. Now, if you look at the formula we are going to use, you should have a function. And then when you get a function, you differentiate it. Isn't it? So this is a nonlinear equation because the power of x is 4. If the power is more than 1, it is nonlinear. 
Are you it? If it is two, three, four, so on, it's not linear. Yes. So let's look at it. So this is an equation. So you have to make it a function. So you can see that let f of x be equal to x to the power 4 minus 2. So it's not a function. So that when you come here, you can get something for it. Now, because of this one, you have to differentiate the function. You have to differentiate it. f prime of x is equal to, you're going to differentiate this one. So if you differentiate this one, you have 4 x cubed. I think when you finish it, one is good, so it is it. And then it has been given S not to go 1.5. Now let's continue. So I can now say that, I can now say that using the Newton Rasen method, a formula, Newton Rasen formula, so you quote the formula. Hmm? Formula, this is the formula. Xn plus 1 is equal to Xn minus, these are suspects. They are suspects. Minus f of Xn all over f prime of Xn. Are you seeing it? So look on the board. So we have been giving x not to 1.5. So it means that you should have to use x not to get x1. So when n is equal to zero, like I explained, this one will be x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 all over f prime of x0. Are you it? Now x0 has been given to 1.5, so we have to write it here. Are you it? Minus f of x0. This is the function f of x. So what this means is that Wherever you see x, if you write 1.5, because x0 is 1.5, so f of x0, it means put 1.5 in this function. I do it. So this one will be, the function is x raised to the power uh, 4. So that will be 1.5 raised to the power 4 minus 2. I do it. All over. So let me put this in, in bigger brackets this way. Mm. All over f prime of s naught. It means that you put 1.5 here. Mm. So this one will be 4 into brackets 1.5 raised to the power 3. Wherever you see x, write 1.5. Are you seeing it? To have this way. Now, this is because if you use your, your calculator to work on this, yes, just use your calculator to work on all this, you should get 1.5. 273. That is to three decimal places because that means have to correct our answer to, to three decimal places. So we can start with it. So this is x1. So having obtained x1, I'm going to use x1 to obtain x2. I see it. So let's look at it. S2 is equal to now let's look at what is happening here. It's equal to x1. S2 means that now n is equal to 1. So we should make this one x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1. Are you seeing it? And this is equal to, this is equal to x1 is now 1.273. You do as it is an iterative process. So it means that if this one is wrong, the rest will also be wrong. So when we are working, doing some of these things, you have to be very, very careful. Yes. Minus f of x1. So it means that I'm going to put 1.273 in this function. So that will give us 1.273 all raised to the power 4 minus 2. Like this. All over. And then you put 1.273 here. All over 4. To brackets 1.273 all raised to the power uh, 3. Now, if you use your calculator to work on this, you should get 1.197. Yes, you should get this. So, you just use your calculator to work on this 1.197. Now, so we are able to get S2 from X1. 
Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me clean the pressure. Let me clean the pressure. Let's continue this way. Now, this is the function. So, you are going to have S3. S3 means that N is equal to 2. And when N is 2, here will be 2, here will be 2, here will be 2. So, you are going to have S2 minus F of S2 all over F prime of f prime of s2 is it and this is equal to s2 is 1.197 1.197 minus now they are putting 1.197 in this function so they are going to have something like this 1.197 all raised to the power 4 minus 2 all over then you put 1.197 here. Isn't it? That is it. Mm -hmm. So this one before into brackets 1.197 all raised to the power 3. And if you use your calculator to work on, uh, on this, you could get 1.189. That is the three decimal places. Isn't it? Now, let's continue. Let's for S4 means that S4 means that n is equal to 3. S4 means that n is equal to 3. So this one is going to be S3 minus F of S3. Yes, I'll tell you when you should stop. So don't worry, let's continue. F prime of S3. Now this is equal to S3 is 1.1. 8, 9, minus, and then when you put it on in the function, you are going to have 1.189 raised to the power 4 minus 2, isn't it? All over 4 times 1.189 all raised to the power 3. And if you work on this one, if you work on this one, you should get 1.189. Now you guys look on the board. When do you stop? Yes. When do you stop? Do you have to continue just like that? No. When do you stop? Look on the board. You see that equation, you were asked to correct the answer to three decimal places. So when you see that, now look at the S4. This is S4. 1.189, that's to three decimal places. Look at S3. 1.189. 1.189. You see, so if I continue with this one, I'll get the same thing 1.189. This is it. So it means that when so you stop when you see that you are getting the same answer, the same. And when an answer repeats itself, then it means that you have to stop. It means that the, 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 the final solution has been obtained. You see it? Yes. So when you are working, you have to be correcting it to the given number of decimal places. Then when you stop, when you see that an answer has repeated itself. So viewers, this is how the newton Russell method works. It is not difficult at all. You need to know the formula and then uh, how things are done this way and everything will be, will be nice. It's not difficult at all. So this is one of the meter methods used to solve nonlinear equations. Yes. So if this, I believe that when you are given any question on this, you should be able to, to solve it. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jr. Thank you very much.